Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is part two of the inpatient coding series, and today our focus will be on the format and structure of the ICD-10 PCS codes, and we will also take a look at each of the character values assigned for reporting inpatient procedures. I am Vinay Kumar. I carry an overall experience of two decades in the U.S. healthcare industry with vast experience in coding, auditing, training, and mentoring. I have helped more than a thousand professionals in gaining knowledge and preparing for certifications from both AHIMA and AAPC. I am dual certified from both AHIMA and AAPC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. At the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of the different sections of the PCS, the different body system and body part character values, root operations, and their importance in building the code, and the approaches used in the PCS, the definitions of device and the qualifier value. So basically, we are talking about all the seven characters of the ICD-10 PCS coding system as such. As we all know, ICD-10 PCS is all about following a process to build the code. So, we need to identify the different values and build the code from the beginning for PCS rather than searching for a code. So, the seven characters. We will talk about each of these seven characters one after the other uh, now. Okay, so, but remember... There are always seven characters to an ICD-10 PCS code and each character contains up to 34 possible values which means there are a lot of codes that can be built based on each character value. And uh, as we all al already know the numbers 0 to 9 are used and alphabets except for I and O all the other alphabets are used for building the PCS code structure as such. The first character identifies the section which is the broader uh, section which identifies procedures to a specific category. The second character identifies the body system where exactly the procedure is being performed or the body system as such. The third character identifies the root operation or the objective of the procedure. Fourth character identifies the specific body part on which the procedure is performed. Fifth character identifies the approach taken to complete the procedure. Sixth character identifies if any device is left in place and what sort of device it is. Seventh character provides additional information about whether it's a diagnostic procedure or different circumstances based on the codes that we are selecting. So we'll talk about all these in detail. The first character. It always indicates the broader procedure category or section of the code. There are different section values like the medical and surgical, obstetrics and imaging for example. And uh, remember medical and surgical makes up the major portion of the entire PCS coding system. Now these are the 17 sections of the ICD-10 PCS codes. And uh, the first one as I said this is the major portion of the PCS coding system, medical and surgical with character value 0. So each of these 17 sections is assigned a character value. You have medical and surgical section, then you have medical and surgical related sections, which all starts with number, numbers, and the ancillary section, which are all starting with alphabets, right? And there is a new technology section as well, which starts with X. So these are the medical and surgical section, the medical and surgical related section and the ancillary sections for the PCS coding system as such. Now, remember, sometimes to complete a procedure or to complete coding a operative report, you might have to use codes for multiple sections of the PCS. It's not just one section that you need to code. Like for example, if it is a PTCA, per percutaneous transluminal coronary angioplasty, along with left heart catheterization and left ventriculography, for example. 
So for the PTCA, you would need to assign a code from the medical and surgical section for the angioplasty. And uh, for the left heart catheterization, you will need to code from the measurement and monitoring section. And for the left ventriculography, you will need to assign a code from the uh, imaging section. So this way, all these three codes together make up the PTCA with left ventriculography and the left heart catheterization. So this is how the codes work together to complete the coding as such. That's about the section. And this is how the section values look like in the PCS tables. If you look at the first table, this one identifies the medical and surgical section. And the second table identifies obstetrics as the section. So you have codes separately for obstetrics as well, right? So this is this all about the section value. Now the second character is the body system. There are a total of 31 general body system values available in the PCS system. Some body systems are unique to the PCS coding system itself. You cannot find them in the CPT or any other uh, you know, uh, organization as, uh, as such for the body systems. Like, for example, uh, you look at this, these tables. Like these are the 31 body system values which are available in the PCS. Okay, and if you look at them carefully, upper arteries, lower arteries, upper veins, lower veins, then you have upper bones, lower bones, upper joints, lower joints. You see, these are all unique here. If you ask me what's the difference between upper and lower, anything above the diaphragm is considered upper, anything below the diaphragm is considered lower. Similarly, you have W, X and Y as body system values. Right Now, W is used when a procedure is generally performed on a body cavity rather than a specific body part, pleural cavity, for example. And X and Y, anatomic regions, upper extremities and lower extremities are used. For example, uh, procedures like amputations, right, where you cannot specifically point to a, uh, one body system or body part as such. So these are the body system values. And this is how the body system value looks like in the PCS tables. For the first table, you see peripheral nervous system is the body system value. And for the second table, pregnancy is the body system value for the obstetrics section. The third character is the root operation. Now, this is the most important character in the PCS code as such. If you understand how to uh, read the definition and apply the definition of a PCS code, then you will get all the codes accurately for the most part. But if you do not understand root operations, then you cannot complete a code in PCS. Now, there are a total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section alone, which are grouped into nine different groups with similar attributes, like for example, excision and resection. These are two root operations which are uh, similar in nature, like excision is removal of a body part partially and resection is removal of a body part completely. So there are certain, uh, you know, differences in their definitions and the way they are used. So there are nine groups, right? And uh, these are the nine groups. So if you look at them carefully, the first one reads root operations that take out some or all of a body part. And root operations that take out solids, fluids, gases from a body part. Root operations involving cutting or separation only. Root operations that put back or put in or move some or all of a body part. Root operations that alter the diameter or route of a tubular body part. Root operations that always involve a device. Root operations involving examination only. Root operations that include other repairs and root operations that include other objectives. These are the nine groups. And apart from that, you also have root operations in the ancillary and uh, other sections of the PCS. Like for the obstetrics, you have abortion and delivery. We'll talk about all these root operations in our next video. And we'll talk about each and every root operation individually along with examples so that we'll learn better. And this is how the root operation is identified in the ICD-10 PCS tables. For the first table, the root operation is insertion in the medical and surgical section. 
For the second table, uh, it is root operation change from the obstetric section. Now the next character is the body part. Now body part points out to the specific uh, area or part where the procedure is performed. Like body system is gastrointestinal system and the body part may be stomach. Okay, so there are different body part values identified for the fourth character. Now the important point you need to remember is there is something called as the body part key which can be referenced in cases where if you do not find the exact body part value in the PCS tables, you can refer to the body part key and pick up the character value there. And uh, this is how the body part key looks like. For example, this femoral head. Okay, if it is documented as a procedure on the femoral head and if you do not find a body part value femoral head in the table, the body part key says you can use upper femur right or upper femur left as the body part value. Okay, this is how the body part key can be used to identify the body part values. The next character, character 5 is approach. Now approach is the uh, way the procedure is performed like uh, what, uh, where was the procedure started like the access location, what type of method was used and uh, what type of instrumentation was used for completing the procedure. So these are the three components of the approach value, but there are a total of seven approach values or techniques used in the PCS coding system as such. And these are the seven approach values, open, percutaneous, percutaneous endoscopic, via natural or artificial opening, via natural or artificial opening endoscopic, via natural or artificial opening with percutaneous endoscopic assistance. We will talk about each of these approach values individually along with examples and try and understand them better in our next videos. And this is how the approach values look like in the ICD-10 PCS coding tables. Now not every uh, table will have all the approach values depending on the type of the procedure and the body part and the root operation, the approaches may be limited to only a certain level. Now, the next character, character 6 is the device. Now, the first and foremost point you need to remember is, a device is coded in the PCS only when a specific device is left inside the body after the procedure is complete. If nothing is left, the default value is always Z, no device. So you need to remember device is something that is left inside after the procedure is complete. Otherwise, devices that are used, devices or instruments that are used to complete or perform the procedure are not true device values in PCS. Like for example, laparoscopic appendectomy. The laparoscopic is a instrument used to complete the appendectomy. This is not a device. But if the patient is undergoing placement of a, uh, you know, a pacemaker unit, right? This pacemaker unit, the battery and the leads, the uh, you know pulse generator and the leads are going to stay on the patient's body after the patient is uh, the procedure is complete, right? So the pacemaker along with the leads is actually a device. So this is the device value character six. Now, there is a device key and a device aggregation table available in the, uh, you know, uh, coding manuals as such. You can use the device key and the device aggregation tables to identify the specific types of device values that may be assigned under different uh, device names as such. We will talk more about these device values when we look at examples, which will be easier to understand. So that's about devices. And this is where the device is identified in the PCS tables. Like for example, you see internal fixation devices, external fixation devices, and so on. Okay, and uh, I forgot to tell you, these are the four general types of devices, grafts and prosthesis, 
implants simple mechanical appliances and electronic appliances these are the categories of devices that are identified in pcs anyways i am going to explain each and every uh, device uh, values along with examples going forward now the last but not the least the seventh character this is something which provides additional information about the procedure being performed for example if it's uh, if a procedure is diagnostic in nature the character value x is available for most of the procedures okay so diagnostic qualifier is used to identify procedures that are biopsies in the following root operations like drainage excision and extraction you will find x as the character value uh, in the seventh character for these root operations for bypass the qualifier specifies the body part bypassed from and the body past uh, body part bypassed to that's for the bypass procedures depending on whether it's coronary or non coronary bypasses and for transplantation qualifier specifies the genetic compatibility of the body part transplanted whether it is autograft allograft or a, a identical twin graft kind of thing okay and zooplastic then for amputation procedures qualifier specifies the level of detachment whether it's a high amputation mid amputation or low amputation so this is basically about the qualifier value which provides additional information now this is an example of how the qualifier looks like in the pcs tables you see this is a qualifier for bypass procedures coronary artery bypass procedures cabg and the seventh character lists the body uh, the bypass from this is for bypass procedures and this is an example of transplant procedures for the qualifier seventh character allogenic syngenic or zooplastic and then this is an example of amputations you see high mid and low and complete amputations based on the first ray second ray third ray and so on so this is what the qualifier does in the pcs coding system providing additional information now apart from this one other thing you need to know is all the codes in the pcs specifically the first three characters are organized in a serial order you'll find medical and surgical zero first then you'll find uh, obstetrics which starts with one next so always start uh, codes always start with the numbers and then go on to the alphabets in a serial order now if you look at this example the medical and surgical lower veins bypass you see the root operation the character value of root operation one is listed here then you have Uh, the next table destruction and then the next table you have dilation and then the next table you have drainage all these are in a serial order starting with numbers right but the first and second character values are the same 0 0 and 6 even for the 0 and the 6 the uh, character values are in a serial order now after numbers as i said the numerics or the alphabets start like excision is b extirpation is c extraction is d and insertion is h and this is how you will find the uh, tables also in the pcs coding manual one after the other okay so overall what you need to remember is uh, the icd10 pcs code is always seven characters nothing less and uh, code values in the tables are organized in a serial order medical and surgical section makes up the biggest part of the uh, procedure coding system body part systems or body part values or body systems upper denote anything above the diaphragm lower denotes anything below the diaphragm root operation is the objective of the procedure and understanding the root operations is a very important factor body part key can be utilized for specific circumstances if you don't find a body part value you also have a device key and a device aggregation table to identify the device types and the qualifier value x is used for all diagnostic procedures so these are the key uh, key points or the important points that you need to remember out of this session as always i have listed out the link 
for the uh, ic10 pcs coding uh, uh, online version from the cms so you can download it from here and use it remember guys if you have the code book with you it will be easy for you to uh, pick up the codes when we are doing the examples thank you so much and in the next video i'm going to talk about uh, each of the characters individually along with uh, coding examples so that we will understand the seven characters better first and after that we'll start uh, start talking about the root operations and uh, keep moving with the series of the icd10 pcs coding as such thank you so much guys please subscribe to the channel so that you get notified for all future videos